Hello, so this is my $25 makeup challenge because I couldn't do the $20 makeup challenge. I was able to get five things, eyeshadow palette, which I'm going to double up for um, eyebrows since it comes with a little brush and sponge sort of thing. A little lipstick from e.l.f. This little um, liquid eyeliner from Essence, which I really love. This is the second time that I bought it just because, or one, I have one at home that's not finished, but for the purpose of this video, I just rebought it. Um, mascara from Essence, which I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And um, foundation from Essence. I know I got a lot of stuff from Essence just because it's pretty much very cheap and within my budget. Alright, so I opened this when I opened this Muse makeup for the first time, I was very disappointed just because it all like shifted onto the side. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe not really want to use it, but whatever. It's I'm at this point right now. <laughs> So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers because I couldn't afford any brushes or sponges. But with this mousse texture, hopefully it should be good for your fingers and I really hope that it matches my skin. Ooh, that looks a bit too dark. Uh, I think that's okay. It's actually very nice and creamy. It's very light considering for a mousse texture. You know what? This isn't too bad. It's very mattifying. It might not match my skin tone precisely, just because there's probably only like six colors you can choose from. But this isn't bad for six bucks. It has like a nice light lotion smell to it. I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers. I'm just gonna remember to get my neck. Oh, this is really hard to angle. I haven't. I don't remember the last time I've like applied foundation with just my fingers. It's probably been like possibly grade nine. First time I had like bought foundation was for like a school play, and that's when I just started getting into makeup. So I guess if you're <laughs> applying foundation with your hands or your fingers, same thing. <laughs> just make sure you pat a lot, just because you don't want to like smudge and you're gonna get streaks. So you're just gonna wanna kind of pretend like it's like a weird sponge. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm going to be using eyeshadow for my brows and I'm using the Wet n Wild 5 eyeshadow palette called The Naked Truth and it comes with like two little like makeup brushes here. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, it is very chalky. <laughs> Ooh, that is very... Very, very dark. What am I doing? <laughs> I guess if you're using um, eyeshadow for your eyebrows, just remember to dust it off so your fallout, because you don't want your eyebrows to be very cakey and a lot of fallout on it. Just like I kind of did. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna clean off the sides just because I went a little overboard on them. Now I can't say that this eyeshadow is going to last too long for eyebrows just because I'm not sure of the wear on it especially just like on top of your hairs like that but for the most part it's not that bad alright so now I'm going to be moving on to eyeshadows just the same thing that I've been using before just going to apply my base <laughs> all with my fingers by the way actually no, sorry I do have a brush but I'm going to apply the base with my fingers I believe like Wet n Wild is probably one of the ones like drugstore ones known to be like very well pigmented except you do get a lot of like fallout and chalky feeling but you can work around that definitely all right so now that i applied the base i'm going to go in with a little sponge applicator that they gave me and apply it to the outer corner of my eyelids all right so now using the crease color i'm just gonna <laughs> put that on my crease. <laughs> what I like about Wet n Wild too, especially if you're a beginner for makeup, it literally tells you which part of the eye, there's like instructions on the back of like where you should put your eyeshadows. Obviously you don't have to follow it if you have your other ideas, but it's a good guideline to like have if you don't know what to do. I'm just going to try to blend that out with my fingers. I feel like I'm running out of fingers to help me <laughs> with my eyeshadow. <laughs> And going with the first eyelid color, I'm just going to try to smudge my bottom lashes, or my bottom line. Alright, 
Alright, so now using the brow bone color, I'm just going to use my fingers and apply it on the top of my brow bones. Ooh, that is very, very dark or very bright. Alright, so now that we're done with eyeshadows, I'm going to be moving on to eyeliner. So this eyeliner is from Essence, like I've said. It's a liquid eyeliner and it comes with a sponge applicator tip. So now that we're done with um, with our eyeliner, I'm just gonna work on my mascara now. Hopefully this is good. This is from Essence. It's called All Eyes on Me Multi Effect Mascara. It comes in a cute little packaging. I don't think this is too bad for mascara. I've had like Essence ones before where they just clump a lot. Yeah. These are actually separating quite well. I'm going to be working on our blush. So for blush, just like Kitty, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. lipstick. And this is in the color Pink Mink, I believe. Yes. And it's like this like nice like pink coral. So I'm just going to apply that on the back of my hand. Get a nice, good little swatch right there. And I'm using my fingers. It's going to... Lightly tap it on the apples of my cheeks. This smells pretty good too. It's like really sweet. And if you've ever smelled like MAC lipsticks, it smells really identical to it. Alright, so now that we're done with our cheeks, I'm just going to be using the same lipstick for my lips. Yep, I am definitely impressed with this little e.l.f. lipstick because this was only for 4 bucks and Honestly, it's a lot better quality than some of the high-end brands that I have. <laughs> that was it for my $25 makeup challenge. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to have a list of the products down below if you want to, if you're interested in any of the products that we have. Alright, so if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to check out our other videos. Until next time!